today we are going to discuss about diagonal scale and this is the second problem from the diagonal scale so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management and this is a problem that we are going to solve today so this is the output of the problem that means the solution of the problem so in the examination you have to draw like this so let's see how can you draw the same with the instrument step by step so let's see once again the description the length of the khandala tunnel on the mumbai pune expressway is 330 meter on the road map so this is the actual distance of the khandala tunnel it is shown by 16.5 centimeter long line so in the map it is the 16.5 centimeter long line of khandala tunnel construct a diagonal scale to show meters and to measure up to 400 meters so this is the maximum distance to be measured by the scale show the length of 289 meter long on the expressway so at last we have to show 289 meter on the diagonal scale so once again this relation you have to remember now here first of all rf is not given to you that means representative fraction is not given to you so first you have to find the rf and as you know that rf is equal to drawing size upon actual size and here it is written that khandala tunnel is shown by 16.5 centimeter long line on the scale so this is the drawing size so i can write over here 16.5 centimeter and actual size of the khandala tunnel is 330 meter so this is the actual size of the khandala tunnel and this is the drawing size of the khandala tunnel so from that i can find the representative fraction but here these both are the different units so you have to convert it first so you know that 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 2 centimeter so i can write over here 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 2 centimeter so this and this will be cancelled and if you simplify this portion then you will get 5 upon 10 raised to 4 so this is your rf so now I can start once again with the RF is equal to drawing size upon actual size. Now I can put RF is equal to 5 upon 10 raised to 4. And we want to find the drawing size. So this is LOD. And this drawing size is the maximum length of the diagonal scale. And actual size that means the maximum length that to be measured by the diagonal scale. And here it is written measures up to 400 meter so if you simplify then you will get length of drawing is equal to 5 upon 10 raised to 4 as it is multiplied by 400 meter so if you simplify further then you will get 0.2 meter you know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and so that you will get length of drawing is equal to 20 centimeter so this is the length of drawing or the diagonal scale so now i can start the drawing of diagonal scale so so far we have discussed up to here now let's take the scale and draw the line as 20 centimeter so here up to 20 centimeter i can draw the line and you know that the length of this line is represented as length of drawing 20 centimeter now take the height as 2 centimeter because of it is the diagonal scale and then complete the rectangle now divide this scale into four equal division because of we want to measure the maximum distance by the diagonal scale is 400 meter so each division represent as 100 meter so i can give the number and always you know that 
first division you should skip and then start the number in the ascending order from left to right draw the vertical line passing through all these points with the help of the ruler scale and you know that each division represent as 100 meter and 100 meter that means it is represent as hectometer so i can write over here this unit represent as hectometer now divide this first division into the 10 equal parts and give the number as 0 2 4 6 8 10 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points once again here you can use the roller scale now here you know that one unit represent as one hectometer and if you divide one hectometer by the 10 division means it represent as decameter now divide this height into the 10 equal division and give the number as 0 2 4 6 8 10 and here once again one decameter is divided into the 10 parts so you can say it represent as meter now draw the vertical line passing through all these points now as the name indicate diagonal scale so you have to draw the diagonal so if you assume this first as a right angle triangle then it represent as diagonal so draw the diagonal and then parallel to it you can draw these all diagonals so this is your diagonal scale so we have completed the first task now we are going to show this 289 meter on this diagonal scale so look at carefully 289 meter that means these three units we are going to show so here keep in mind that meter and then always these are in the ascending order so automatically you can understand these three units we have to show and already we have written meter decameter and hectometer here you can see now 289 means what so i have shown over here look at carefully 9 meter 8 decameter and 2 hectometer so we have to represent over here 2 hectometer so here you can see 2 hectometer then 8 decameter so here you can see 8 decameter and 9 meter so here you can see 9 meter so i am going to show you 8 decameter and 9 meter so here you can see the blinking lines of these two units in the intersection of these two line is your point so mark it and now you can mention this distance as 289 meter so this is your second task so 289 meter that means you can say in another word 2 hectometer 8 decameter and 9 meter if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video